Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have an update for the Divi Carousel Maker. So we're calling this version 1.1. So this is the first major update since it was released. So we're gonna take a look at our release blog post and show you everything that's new. So let's take a look. So in a sense, we're calling this a foundational update and that will all make sense once I explain it a little bit. So we actually, started planning this vlogging um, around August or September of 2020. We initially had the idea and we're working on hacking Divi in order to create it because this is a very unique plugin. There's nothing else like it that hacks into the Divi builder the way it does. So it took us a long, you know, a long time to release it in May because we wanted to add a lot of features and make it pretty mature when we released it. So now you're going to see what we call a rapid release cycle. We're going to have a lot of smaller updates, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, things like that. We're gonna work on that more because we don't want it to, once we get some features done, we don't want it to wait. So in fact, we already have like two or three big features done that just didn't quite make it into 1.1. So like I said, we're gonna expect to have more updates more often. Well, anyway, my whole point was that it, it was a long time between starting development and then finalizing it. So we, we needed to take a fresh look at the code. And um, that's actually, I talk about that down here uh, in, the, in the fundamental improvements. I talk about that, like just updating the file structure, totally reviewing the code. In fact, we got some fresh sets of eyes on it, made some great improvements um, to the code, all right? So we're gonna talk about that a little more. But as far as actual features, so we added an icon picker. You know, that's kind of one of those simple things, you know, before we just had this default one, left and right. So I'll just I'll just grab um, a demo here and show you that. It's kind of nice. Now you can just pick the arrows right here. So when you're in the carousel, uh, let's see, well, that'd be under navigation now. So right here, I can pick my left navigation arrow. It could be any icon. What, I mean, really, you could pick anything you wanted, but for now, we're just going to... Those are defaults. You know, there's a lot of different ones. Like, you could use that one, um, you know, one like that. It, it really doesn't matter, right? So that's new. Another feature is we had a request for this, the starting module order. What, what that means is someone wanted to start randomly, like the modules would show in a random order. So here, like, if I'm just looking at my modules here. See, I have one, two, three, four, five. So it would show in that order. It would show, here, I'll show you. See how they're one, two, three, four, five, one, right? Okay, so I'm gonna change that. So this new settings right here, it's on default, by default. <laughs> and then random, okay. So we'll take a look at that real quick. And you can see, every time I will refresh the page, it's going to be random. Sometimes they may be in order, just depends, you know, but it's it's always going to be random. Two, four, one, five, three, two, you know, two, five, one, three, four. It's it's always going to be random. Okay, you get the idea. Now, as far as the other setting, let's take a look at that. It, we called it specific module, and then you can write in here a number, right? Any whichever number. Now you wouldn't you'd want to make sure it's not 20 when you only have five modules or something, but specific starting module. So watch, I wrote three here. Let's save that. So notice it started on three. And you can even see by the, the indicator right here. So see if I'm on a different one, I'll refresh. See how it starts on the third one, right, right there. Okay, so that's a new feature. Uh, oh, and then a couple simple ones, enabling or disabling touch swipe and mouse drag. Those were on before. They were features that they were not settings. Okay, if that makes sense. Now you can disable or enable them. Like if you only want someone to use the arrows or, or the dots, and, you know, it, they're, they're going to be on by default. But anyway, we made them into settings. Uh, let's see. So you probably noticed now we have setting toggles. It was getting out of hand for one thing. Like we were adding so many features. Because at first it was really simple. And then we're like, started adding more features. And again, this is probably something we should have done in version 1.0. I know, but um, it just didn't happen. So again, this is a foundational update. 
you probably already saw it, but we kind of broke it up in this way, general highlight, scroll, navigation, hover response. Just note that those are subject to change or it'll always make sense. But just in case, like you're like, where is something, you know, I don't know. We, at some point we could change some terminology. Each one of these is corresponding to a documentation page. So we have a documentation page for general settings, highlight settings, scroll settings, etc. So that's nice. We have a new dependency message. Like if someone doesn't have Divi installed, it'll be like, hey, you know, this is a Divi plugin. You need to be using Divi. That's nice. It won't crash your site. Instead, it'll give a message. <laughs> I already talked a little bit about the whole file structure change. We also optimize the performance. So when we were checking, you know, you tend to like get into development mode and just go, go, go. And then we had um, another developer check it, like third party to, to just review it. And he's like, you know, you're loading like all of these scripts and you could minify these, but you could also reduce it by like from five to one. So we're like, oh yeah, <laughs> we didn't see that. You're right. But anyway, so we reduced all the, the the amount of scripts that load and then minified the ones that do load. So the performance is going to be better. It already was fine. I did speed test this out, but it was already fine. So another thing, the when the carousel would load, it would like, as the, as like the page was loading, the modules would like move into place. Okay, that's solved. Now another big one, a couple of people reported that it was turning off. They'd just be like, they'd go into their website and it was turning off and that was very concerning. It took us very long to find that because it seemed to be a cache issue. You would enable the builder and it'll be fine again. So it was really hard to track down. Um, but we did. It took a long time. It's just a little fix, but um, a little fix for a big problem, huh? And then there was other little fixes like the testimonial module and person module was showing a different layout when it's full width. Those modules change when you change how wide they are, the, the orientation changes. And in our carousel, it was changing automatically. So that's all fixed. All right, so that may not seem like a very big update, but it really is. There's, we only added a few like user facing features in this update, but be patient with us because I'm not kidding when I say I have a list this long of things we're adding. Like it's really going to get crazy good. It's the, there's gonna be settings for everything. We're already working on um, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of new navigation options, numbered navigation, image for the navigation, uh, let's see, buttons instead of just arrows. What else can I tell you? Different bunch of scroll effects. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of things coming. So be patient, but hopefully you enjoy this update and we'll look forward to the next one also, but go ahead and get this one updated and enjoy a few of these extra features for now. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.